give the Mackinac shad a chance. First drop of the day with it. See how quick we can pull up a fish on it. like a hit right there as that was falling. Huh. Yep, that was a fish. Oh yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Let me see if he'll come back. Yeah, he came back. He came back. Let's go. It's actually a spunky little striper, man. Nothing crazy, but definitely some spunk to him. Yeah, that ain't a bad little one. I don't know, 24 inch maybe. Well undersized for sure, but that's not a bad start. Look at that. Beauty. That little guy go. All right, not a bad start. I'll tell you what. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to try these, they're very similar to like a, a storm shad or you know bait like that. But the nice thing is the plastic on the backs are replaceable. Where if you've ever fished like the storm, like whole shads, and let's say you're you run into a lot of bluefish and stuff like that. You know, they take one bite and that lure is done -zo. At least with these, they have replacement tails that they come with that, you know, you can just plug another one on, keep going. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish, baby. Let's get, begin to worry. Oh, run this way now. That's actually not a bad bass. Look at that guy. That's a behemoth. I might actually net this guy just so I don't damage him. This guy, if I try and flip into the kayak, might, make, might be more damaging for him, honestly. Look at that. It's actually not a bad bass at all. Slob. Alright. Look at this. That's a healthy bass. Oop. There he goes. A few short strikes right there. Passing over some fish right now for sure. See if one of them will hit it. Oh, yep. Oh yeah. Man, that was a violent strike right there. Where I'm set up to is a perfect ambush spot, man. I feel like these bass are just ambushing mama chugs, herring little perch pretty much anything bunker to get washed right over them that ain't a bad one for the Mackinac there he goes I'm seeing fish right beneath me Funny, I'm marking fish in random areas that I didn't think would hold them, 
but for some reason today that they, they seem to be congregating on these little areas which I don't mind that man it makes life a little bit easier oh 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 son son ain't nothing better than jigging for stripers man especially March when it gets you know your days of good weather are very numbered I wouldn't consider today to be one of them with you know the wind that we got but when you're catching fish you don't really realize how cold it might be and that's cool on the Mackinac in the water he don't want to be out in the wind as much as I don't there he goes it is nice man when you don't gotta do much but drop and jig you know what I mean oh there we go you don't realize how great soft plastics and lures actually are you know the amount of money you could save fishing just straight lures not having to worry about catching bait, buying bait. Grant, you do have to buy these lures, but you know, a pack of jigs and soft plastics, much more affordable than a dozen spot or, you know, a pint of minnows or, you know, you name it. And, the, you know, the beauty of fishing something like this is you don't have to worry about keeping it alive. One of the pro problems I find on a kayak, man, with live bait, especially like spot. Oh, man, look at that. We are just on them right now. Is It's such a pain to keep them alive. You know, on a little 10-foot kayak, you ain't got much space to begin with. Now you're adding a four or five-gallon bucket with water and a dozen fish that you're trying to keep alive. Man, I'll tell you what, um, what I like too about this lure is I feel like it emulates our baits. It looks very similar to a peanut bunker. Oof. A little healthy bass. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this uh, Mackinac Shad has been putting in work since we got here. And all I've been doing is just pretty much bouncing the bottom with it I'm, I'm assuming there's you know a million ways oh man how'd I miss that came back though you know there's probably a million ways you could fish this um, with this amount of weight though in the jig head I feel like it's perfect for jigging um, if I were to fish just straight cast and retrieve working a flat working a sod bank I'd probably fish the quarter ounce Mackinac just because the, you know the weight of the jig will make it sink much quicker like this one which is makes it perfect for jigging deeper areas because you don't have to wait as long to get to the bottom <clears throat> and if you've got a lot of current it, it helps you get where you need to go There's fish on it. Holy smokes. I missed that spot by a few feet. There was something just sitting in that shallow. Damn, son. That's pretty cool. Sorry, 
buddy. I uh, tried to do the old bass flip. Uh, try that again, sorry. Sorry, pal. Ooh, he was barely hooked. He was like hooked right in the front of his mouth. That ain't a bad one, a little thicker. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. What did we just hook into? My God. Jeez. Man. This got some weight to it. tell oh now I don't he might have been ran me into some type of structure alright man that one's got some beautiful colors He might have been running into structure because I couldn't get him up for a minute. Oh, there we go. There's a bruiser. All right, that just died mid hook set, I think. But man, that guy just freaking thumped that. not very graceful on my part. Okay. Oh man. Definitely amateur hour right now. You do weird things when you can't feel your hands. That's for sure. Wow oh, man. Thought I had a hold of them but I apparently did not. Sorry, buddy. I'll get you back in the water. Gold, double, double catch. Healthy looking bass. Oh, there it is. There it was. Oh. Right on that little drop. Tell you what man this is uh definitely a fun change of pace to fishing just like jigs and swim baits or jigs and gulp similar philosophies or fishing tactics i guess you could say but i'll tell you where i like this is high current that amount of weight is honestly the reason we're actually catching some fish because without having that much weight on the jig it'd be tough to get it where it needs to be especially if we were fishing like something like a quarter ounce or lighter man that ain't a bad one a little heartbreaker though that'd be just under if we measured but we're not gonna measure them because we know something just oh I was about to say something just short strike me and then something came back for it 
Man, son, that guy absolutely crushed it. Thinking it was multiple bass, because the first one felt very finicky. Like when they grabbed the tail, and only the tail. That second hit though was like a thump and a half. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Open the bale. I mean, look, look how far that went in his mouth. Jeez. Like I said, this one thumped it. He wasn't giving the other bass a chance. Let's use the pliers that way we don't harm this guy. Yeah, because it's not deep by any means. But I don't want to play around with this pool. Oh, there we go. Oh, I dropped him. Son of a gun. Let's see if he'll come back. Oh, yep, he came back. He came back. That is the beauty of jigging, man. Sometimes you miss him that first strike. Drop it back, give them a chance. Usually when they're feeding like this, they'll come back for it. Man, whoa. We just went from trying to swim straight down to straight up. Easy buddy, easy. Put you down for a second. Another healthy bass. Whoa. Daydreaming uh, that one small guy, a little lunker. Freaking, I'm staring out into the abyss. Almost ripped, ripped the rod out of my hand. Damn, felt a little bit bigger. I think he's hooked under his chin. Yep. That's the first one today like that. Most of them have been, you know, in the mouth. Little guy. Still spunky though. 